Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, where we dive into the latest and greatest in the world of gaming. Today, we're taking a close look at a game that's got everyone talking, Phantom Brigade. It's a game that's trying to take the mech genre to a whole new level with some pretty cool ideas. So, let's break it down, shall we? Phantom Brigade is all about tactical battle with a big twist. Imagine being able to see into the future in the game. Sounds cool, right? That's what you get with Phantom Brigade's prediction system. This system let you see what the enemy is going to do next which is super handy because let's face it who doesn't want to be one step ahead of the bad guys now this isn't your usual turn-based game you get to plan out five seconds of action kind of like putting together a mini movie of your team kicking butt you line up your moves on this track that look like a mix in music but instead of beats, you're lining up punches, shots, and dodge. And when you press play, it's showtime. Mechs firing, building, crumbling, and all the action-packed godness you could ask for. But here is the kicker. It's not as easy as it sounds. Sure, predicting your enemy moves is great, but you also got to keep your own team from accidentally taking each other out. Yeah, I have my chair of oops moment where my own mechs ended up in the line of fire and trust me, when you are up against tougher enemies, every move counts. After a victory, you get to loot the battlefield, grabbing gear from your fallen foes and this is where the game gets really interesting. You've got to think about what weapons to equip, considering things like direct damage versus concussion damage. It's all about strategy and making smart choices to keep your team in top fighting shape. But here is where things get a bit mixed. Once the battle over and you step away from the front line, the game feels a bit less exciting. The story, well, it's pretty basic. Your country being taken over and you, the Phantom Brigade, are fighting back. The storytelling is a bit sparse, with the, most of it it's coming through text blocks that pop up now and then. And while you wandering the world between fights, things can feel a bit repetitive. You're mostly looking at a map, moving from point A to point B, and taking on a mission to reclaim your homeland. It's a net concept, but it doesn't quite hit the mark in terms of depth or engagement. Now, don't get me wrong, the battles in Phantom Brigade are blast. Watching your tactical plans come to life in a flurry of mech action is incredibly satisfying. The problem is the rest of the game doesn't quite keep up with the excitement of the combat. So what's the verdict? Phantom Brigade has some amazing idea and delivers some of the most dynamic and fun make battles you'll find. But if you're looking for a game with a rich story and a world that's as engaging as its combat, you might find this one a bit lacking. So, if you're a fan of mech and tactical gameplay, Phantom Brigade is definitely worth checking out for the battles alone. Just be prepared for a bit of letdown once the dust settle. Alright, that's it for today's review. What do you think of Phantom Brigade? Have you had a chance to jump into the cockpit and take on the enemy? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news and reviews. Catch you in the next one.